This video is focusing on a first course in modelling analysis and control and in particular we're looking at an introduction to the interactive activity supported by MATLAB. The website then has got a single page outlining a first course in control as you can see circled there. Also you'll notice that there are weekly interactive activities and resources um, which make a significant use of MATLAB and what we're going to do is introduce you to those files now. You're going to need a number of folders. There are four main types of file and I would suggest you have a separate folder for each. So there are generic LiveScript files for a first course, there are apps, there are some case studies and there are weekly tutorial files. Now the website's continually being updated so the files that we demonstrate today may not be exactly the same as what you get when you do a download, but the zip files and the website at the time should be self-explanatory. Let's demonstrate the downloads now then. So first of all, we'll go to the website. Here it is, and you'll see here, I've gone to the page, a first course in control. Now, you'll notice, for example, this link on week one, says you can get these MATLAB GUIs. So if I press that link there, and you notice, I can download. So that download has been done. And if you look over here, you can see there's the zip file. So let's go back to the page. You'll notice if you go down to week two, there's weekly live script files. So if we download those, Let's download and there you can see it's gone into my download folder. Okay now there are also two other types of files that might be useful. You'll see in section 6.8 there's MATLAB apps. So there's a zip file here that I can download. So again we press download and fetch those and then finally you'll see there's a specific page on MATLAB Live Scripts. And again, there's a zip file for those. Okay, now you'll see all those zip files are now in my um, downloads folder. So what I'm gonna do is move them into a folder in my computer where it's useful to me. So you see, I've set up this folder MATLAB and what I'm going to do is simply put those in there. OK, now they are all going to need extracting. So, for example, I'll just do one of them. So if I go extract all. Oh, sorry, it's gone over there. Um, and there you can see I've now got the folder with all those files. And there they all are. Personal preferences and folders. Now it's possible to get MATLAB to search selected folders for files and add those folders to a search path. And this is useful if you're an advanced user of MATLAB when you've got multiple folders with utility purposes. However, personally, and especially if you're doing a first course and you're a beginner, I think it's probably safer not to do that and rather just get MATLAB to focus on the selected folder because then you know what's happening and you're not getting confused by files in different places. So put the files you want in a specific folder and move MATLAB to that folder. So we can show you that here. So if I open MATLAB window, you'll see I've already put it in this folder MATLAB, which is my MATLAB folder. Now, if I have a look, you'll see there's the folder where I've just extracted some files, MATLAB Live Scripts, select folder. And now you'll see all the files I've just downloaded are in that folder. And if I want to use them, I can just run them directly. And the key thing is move MATLAB to the folder where your files are and you won't get confused. Generic MATLAB skills and live scripts. So basically what you'll see on the website is there's a set of generic live script files on this particular website here. And there's a video on there which will give you a rapid illustration of how to use a live script file. So we're not going to do that video here, um, but if you go and look at it, again, I'll just show you because that's the point. If you go and look here, so there's the page, section 6.9 on MATLAB live scripts, and you'll see here, there's a link 
which says video. If you click on that, it gives you a quick video on how live script files work. And I would suggest you go through that so you're comfortable with them. What's the purpose of this video series then? So what we're going to do is give some rapid tutorials on how to use the weekly interactive files directly linked to the first course. So you'll see there's some files for week one, some files for week two and so on. And we're going to give you a quick overview of how to use those files. You'll notice we've already downloaded all the files. That's what we did earlier. I would suggest that you back up the originals so you can make edits you know, for your own learning, because that's what you do with these files. You edit them, you try things out, but you want the originals so you can bring them back just in case you need them. So some conclusions. Later videos are going to focus on the use of the files. And what we've done mainly now is just downloaded them. Hopefully you will have organized these into folders, same way that I have done, and they're ready. Now a warning. The files we're going to talk about assume the use of the symbolic and control toolboxes. So make sure you've got those in your MATLAB. If you get something like file not found, it's possible that either you're in the wrong folder, that's in MATLAB, or you do not have these toolboxes.